a bad enough dude to save your girlfriend from ninjas? Are you a bad enough dude to relive the arcade days of your youth? Are you a bad enough dude to buy a year old free to play mobile game for $5 on Steam? Of fucking course you are. Major Mayhem was a game published by Adult Swim Games for mobile devices around a year and a half ago. Ah oh well, brush off some of the dust cause it's still a really neat little title. The store page describes Major Mayhem as a cover shooter inspired by arcade titles like Time Crisis, Metal Slug, and 80s action movies. Well, let's test the veracity of that claim. Inspired by 80s action movies, eh? Well, I'd say that's true. Major Mayhem has the cultural sensitivity of a mid-80s Bond flick. Hey, we're gonna do a desert level in this game here. What do you know about the desert, Bob? Oh gee, there's sand and camels and guys in turbans with scimitars, I guess. Good, brilliant, go with that. It's like I'm really there. Oh, one second, I gotta turn over my shoe. Oh, looks like there's some sand in there. Must have come from the immersive battlegrounds of Major Mayhem. It's like I've actually met all the red-eyed Arabic stickmen from Agrabah in real life. Inspired by Time Crisis, eh? Well, that's very true. Almost to an exact blueprint of Time Crisis. If you had a light gun and a foot pedal, it'd basically be the same game. Shoot the bad things, don't shoot the good things, rescue the good things for rewards like getting some health back. All the shots fired at you don't matter except for the glowing red ones which damage you unless you're not actively shooting and in cover. The visual style is spunky and charming, and the later levels it definitely feels like it's throwing as much crap at you as it can, trying to get that endorphin reaction out of you. Part of that is probably the mobile translation, and I can say from having played this on mobile before I picked it up on PC, that the large indicators for everything work really well on the small screen. What I will also say is that not playing on a tablet, the smaller enemies are hard to hit with my giant fat American thumbs, and the incoming bullet indicators are blocked by my giant fat American thumbs. All the bullets move super slow, yours and theirs. This is cool in two ways. One, it recreates the pixel mosh pit that was Time Crisis or House of the Dead with little bullets flying everywhere. Two, in a game where most enemies go down in one shot, it gives the later guns somewhere to improve on the earlier ones other than magazine size, rate of fire, and accuracy. The stable of weapons the game boasts is pretty good. They all function differently and actually have their own strengths and weaknesses. There are spitting weapons like the Uzi and the P90, hit scan weapons like the sniper and the Magnum, and explosive weapons like the rocket launcher and the grenades. The spitting weapons can't kill as fast as the hit scan weapons, but you can rack up a higher combo. The explosive weapons can clear out whole swaths of bad dudes, but they're slower to fire. And if your enemy doesn't have a backdrop to splash you around against, you're gonna have a hard time hitting them. So there's a balance. The weapons in the highest rung of the unlock tree are not necessarily better in every way than the lower ones. Half the achievements you unlock to get more powerful weapons happen when they happen. You'll get 100 kills eventually. The other half have you jumping through hoops, getting kills with a certain weapon, intentionally hurting yourself with specific traps, intentionally not hurting yourself for a period of time, and intentionally buying items out of the armor shop. This brings up an interesting aspect of this being in a mobile port. Fortunately, Adult Swim Games decided not to extend the microtransactions from the mobile version to the PC version, but that means that buying the top gun in the game is no longer an option. You have to play through it to get the new guns. I'm fine with this. This kind of progression through weapon types gives Major Mayhem a feeling of forward mobility through gameplay that remains fairly static throughout. Back to our list of inspirations, inspired by Metal Slug? That's where I think they're reaching. Mayhem is not nearly as difficult, violent, or cynical as Metal Slug was. For one, you get three lives, represented like a sort of deadly strip poker. You lose your hat, then your shirt, then your life. This codes how well off you are health-wise very well without any messy health bars or indicators. This seems to be true for your enemies as well. It seems like the ones with hats shoot deadly bullets more often. So, the bad dudes with hats are more powerful and more dangerous, and when the Major is hit, he loses his clothing too. So the equivalent of food for health in this game is a thrift shop? There's some sort of statement about vanity and nakedness hitting here, but I'm not gonna go digging. The style of Mayhem is clearly geared towards a younger audience. Adult Swim products definitely sell themselves on the absurd. Every one of them, to a fault, conjures up the phrase, I never thought I would see that fighting that. This time around, it's Robocop and Mummies, or Abe Lincoln and Ninjas, but I feel like that's been done before. The production values are pretty good, held within the limits of an intentionally simplified style. All the Major's animations, at least, are pretty smooth. The effects look good, and the music is all in-style and well-made. 
If you feel like going back to 2014, Major Mayhem is a cute little game. It almost feels like something that could have been preloaded onto copies of Windows. It's fairly fast paced, holds a high emphasis on scoring points, is inherently replayable, and stays pretty much the same from session to session and from level to level. I'm not sure if it has the longevity that its mobile version would have had. You're probably going to be playing through a bunch of levels at a time on the PC, while you might only have done one or two while waiting for the bus on mobile. At the rate you'll be playing it on the PC, the game shows its short length. Despite that, I think that Mayhem has enough replayability to justify the price. It's cute, it's short, it's fun, it's retro, it was a weekend's worth of diversion, and for five bucks, I don't think I could have asked for more.